Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to enable your 5G data whatever on any iPhone 12. I'm pretty sure all iPhone 12 support 5G. However, I will tell you that when as soon as you boot up your iPhone, it's automatically on. It's I'm pretty sure automatically enabled. I didn't have to go through any of these settings. So you may be in a situation where your 5G is already on, but you may be on automatic 5G, which is a feature that Apple actually built in. And I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to turn off that or turn on that depending on which situation you're in now 5g right now is pretty much like stolen the works it's nothing like too crazy there's some places where i think it's supported and you can actually use 5g but i think for like a bunch of people out there it's not really relevant until a couple of years from now but in order to actually utilize it what you want to do is make sure you have a sim card installed into your iphone and i'm pretty sure like i said the 12 pro 12 these are all supported you want to make your way into your settings app just like this now you want to locate your cellular options toggle which is right here it should be under wi-fi bluetooth all these different things and what you want to do at this point is you want to go ahead and tap on cellular and you'll come into this specific panel and i'll go ahead and tell you exactly what plan you're on and all this other data now at the very top you'll see cellular data you probably want to make sure that's enabled in order for you to actually go through this but then you'll see cellular data options which is great and what you want to do here is you want to click on cellular data options and you'll come into this little panel. Now you can go ahead and assume if you want data roaming on or off, that's not relevant. But right here where it says voice and data, it says 5G auto. So what that means is this is automatically enabled by default. As soon as I put on my iPhone, it was like this when I just checked it. This means that it'll automatically and dynamically switch from 5G to LTE up until 5G again if you wanted to in order for it to save battery. So it's an automatic thing. If 5G is there, it's going to use it. If not, then it's going to go back to LTE. And in this case, I think it's great and I'll probably end up keeping it on this. But if you're somebody for voice and data specifically, if you want to go ahead and be on the setting, you can go and do it. But if you want to rather use LTE, you can go ahead and click on the LTE option here in order to use that. But if you want 5G to be on all the time, whether you're using it or not, basically whether if you're using LTE or whatever, it'll automatically always be searching for 5G and using it whenever it can. You want 5G to be on here. So it's 5G is just always going to be on. I would probably recommend using 5G auto if you have an 11 Pro Max that has better battery life. That may be less of an option, but like I said, I mean, right now, there's not a lot of places that support 5G. So even keeping LTE on currently is perfectly fine. But that that those are pretty much the differences. LTE is basically 4G. 5G automatic is switching from 5G to LTE whenever it needs it or switching it on and off for the most part. And then 5G on is just 5G on all the time. Now, if you go back, you can see data mode right here. You can go and click on it. And this basically just explains a little bit more like, okay, you want to allow the most amount of data you can use it with 5G if you want, you know, the standard rates and all that stuff and the standardness. And you can go ahead and click the standard option if you want the low data mode, which is basically going to use the least amount of data to preserve data. If you're on like a four gigabyte plan or something and you want to use your phone more often and you don't want to, you don't really care about downloading as much stuff or whatever and images and stuff, then you can go on low data mode too. But again, that's how you basically allow more data on 5G. It's automatically on by default for the most part. 5G automatic is on. But like I said, if you want to switch over to 5G on, you pretty much cold click on voice and data and turn 5G on for the most part. Right now, like I said, it's probably not that big of a deal, but over time, it's probably going to get better for the most part. So that's really pretty much it for the most part. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.